number 15, Pete Werner. Yeah, interesting. Um, I don't know that he had the best season last year, admittedly, by them. You know, their moves tell us that he didn't. They've said it out of their mouths that they want him to improve and get better. I think we saw him have a really good summer. Um, I think what we saw in those practices, I think it reinstilled some confidence in, in him for me. At yeah. least it looked like he was out there playing hard, taking advantage of things. Mm -hmm. We'll see when the pads come on and everything. He's going to have to meet the challenge. Um, I actually had him 15th, so it looks like we're all kind of on the same page about where he's at. But I think I think that arrow is obviously variable. Like, he could he could drop. Like, if he doesn't right. answer it, there's somebody right behind him. It's not like there's a huge gap. Like, if I think if Pete just dips a little, Willie Gay is going to gonna pass him. So he's got to keep his foot, foot on the gas. But um, until we see somebody pass him up, I think 15 is a good spot for him. Yeah, there's no question. The Saints challenged him. Uh, Dennis Allen said, I hope he took it as a challenge. Um, they meant it as a challenge when they brought in Willie Gay. I don't think Kalika Hudson was necessarily that, but he's another guy who started a lot at middle linebacker. They draft Jalen Ford, a starting middle linebacker uh, from Texas, and Pete Werner's a free agent next year. So, I mean, there are a lot of reasons why he has to show that he's on the same track that he used to be on. I mean, man, we had him higher on this list last year. Before he got hurt his second year in the NFL, through the first, I'm trying to look at the exact number, through the first eight games two years ago, he had 71 tackles. He was on pace for 151 that year. I mean, how would we be talking about him if he got anywhere near that number? And then last year he played a full season and only had 93 tackles. Um, he doesn't do the splash things. He only has one career interception, one half career sack. Some of that third down stuff, I think he needs to be a little bit more dynamic. But I I agree. What what we saw during OTAs just kind of increased my confidence in him. I had already, as I mentioned, the buy stock in episode. It was him and Juwan Johnson were my first two picks for the guys I would buy stock in. I think we recently did bold predictions, and I said my bold prediction is that that Pete Werner is gonna gonna be one of these guys that we're much higher on. Uh, like I think next year at this time when we're doing this list, I think I think he gets back closer to tenth than fifteenth, but. Obviously, he has to hold off Willie Gay to do that. And that is the reason why I had him at 12, because I didn't think he was top 10 because he had competition inside the building. Mm 